And we have a bottom line culture, aiming at a bottom line. Do you pray? I, five the, I pray the five daily prayers, the obligatory. That's all what I do. Do you fast? I fast Ramadan. Do you treat your parents well? Well, I don't swear at them. I don't insult them. That's it. How do you treat your children? At a basic level. It's all aiming at the bottom line. But the companions of the, of the Prophet ﷺ did not have this. This kind of culture. They had a culture of aiming at the highest levels of Islam. And this is something the Prophet ﷺ taught them when he said, إِذَا سَأَلْتُمُ الله, If you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make a dua, فَاسْأَلُوهُ الْفِرْدَوْسَ الْأَعْلَى If you ask Allah for something, for paradise, ask Him for the highest level of paradise, الفردوس الأعلى That's what you should aim at. And that's why the Muslims really created beautiful history that we still survive on. The honor that we still have today is the remnants of that great era. But we need to duplicate it. We need to follow that example of the companions of the Prophet Alhamdulillah, we are proud of trying our best to follow the example of the Prophet, of the Prophet and his companions, to follow their understanding of the Quran and the Sunnah. But that shouldn't be technical. We have to bring life to that concept. Really studying the life of the companions. How did they go about dealing with Islam? How did they relate to the Quran? How did they relate to the Sunnah of the Prophet What is the, What was the level of their aspirations? They would always aim at something far greater, far greater than the bottom line.